People in a small pocket of Albuquerque say one of their neighbors has been quietly pocketing thousands of dollars of their money for years. But as News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart reports on special assignment, they may finally be getting some justice. It's been frustrating. We were really blindsided by this. Do you think she should go to jail for this? There's something bothering this quiet North Valley subdivision near Edith and Paseo, where neighbors say their cries for help have gone unanswered for years until now. State of New Mexico versus Desiree Pepin. Desiree Pepin, former president of the Las Colinas Homeowners Association, is arraigned on felony embezzlement and forgery charges, more than three years after her neighbors took their case to Bernalillo County Sheriff's Detectives. It's an excellent paper trail they have. We figured it'd be wrapped up pretty quickly. So it was extra frustrating when they kept stringing us along and not doing anything. According to a complaint, as HOA president from 2002 to 2014, Pepin collected $30 membership dues from residents each month. Eventually, neighbors say they started receiving invoices with added fees. There was a pattern of this for like about six months where we would go from owing $30 to $180 and we didn't know why. We don't count the same, apparently. Things took a turn when longtime resident Thomas Tinoco says his bill from Pepin was simply outrageous. The last statement that I got in, in 2013 was for $92,000 that I owed. What was your reaction? I wasn't going to pay it. Tinoco says the $92,000 bill came with a threat typed at the bottom. Accounts unpaid will be sent to collections or a lien placed on his property. You can say Somebody was attempting to scam a senior citizen. But others who got less outrageous bills did pay up. I did have a friend who's two houses down from me. Uh, he had gotten a bill for $900, and she was threatening that they are going to put a lien on his house. So he paid it up, not knowing. When people realized they weren't the only ones with billing discrepancies, they started asking questions. Neighbors became their own investigators. An outside management company was later hired. And when Conrad Dzula was appointed HOA president in 2014, he says he finally got access to HOA banking statements. We saw that the ones that she submitted to the management company were incomplete, and what's worse is they were altered. Checks they thought had been wrote for HOA expenses, Dzula says, were actually written to herself, like this one showing $60 paid to USPS for stamps. Dzula says the same check number from the bank shows the money actually went to Desiree Pepin. Same thing with this $95 check. One copy shows it's for a hired landscaper. Another shows Pepin's signature. It was just a real kick in the face. Every other check was written to herself. HOA dues are supposed to pay for things like landscaping, maintenance, and water bills for common areas. And the water department filed several liens. Neighbors pieced together the puzzle and compiled binders of documents to show investigators. But after their assigned BCSO detective retired and the case went nowhere in court, frustrations mounted until a couple months ago when District Attorney Raul Torres's office decided to move the case forward and charged Pepin. A lot of this is a bookkeeping issue, quite frankly. In court, Pepin's attorney also chalked up the charges to an ugly neighborhood dispute. She's certainly no threat to anybody. After her arraignment, no, I'm Gabrielle, no, Channel 13. Can we ask you about this case at all? Pepin wasn't interested in sharing her side with us. I mean, I know you said it was an, a neighbor dispute, but we'd love to hear from you. Online court records show this isn't the first time Pepin's been in trouble. Records show she was convicted of forgery, fraud, and filing false insurance claims in 2003. Plus, Pepin was on probation, ordered to pay restitution to insurance companies at the same time she was HOA president. And in 2014, Pepin, a hairstylist, was taken to court for owing $15,000 in rent on her hair salon. That case was dismissed after the landlord missed a court date. While this case winds its way through court, Pepin's neighbors want justice. It's our community. It's the neighborhood, her neighbors, she did this to. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Pepin's criminal case is still slow moving. She's supposed to turn herself in next week to be booked on the charges. The HOA is also taking Pepin to court in a civil case for more than $50,000. You can read that complaint online at alwaysonkrqe.com.